Super excited to do this video. We're gonna be talking about your sleds for once. You guys got some pretty sweet sleds and I thought this would be a cool opportunity to show them off on the channel. How this is gonna work is obviously you guys DM me your sleds already. I'm gonna go through them and we're gonna pull them up on the screen, put the picture on the screen, and I'm gonna rate them on a scale of one to 10, one being like clapped and 10 being like modded, built, like perfect, like beautiful sled. I'm not judging guys' sleds, like there's all love here. I'm not judging guys' sled on how new or how old your sled is. I don't care if you're riding a 79 Articat or a 2020 Polaris, like, it does not matter to me as long as you're out enjoying the sport, having fun. That's all I care about. It's all love here. I'm more so basing it off of how stock your sled is versus how modded your sled is. So, for example, a stock sled would be about a 4 to a 5. And, like, a fully built sled, like a Chris Brandt sled, is going to be, like, a 9, 10, like, in that scale. And, like, a 1, like, it's going to be so hard to get a 1. If you sent me, like, a sled that got wrecked or, like, a sled that was on fire, like, that's going to be a 1 because it's clapped. Other than that, this is just for fun. It's just to showcase you guys the sleds. And I hope you guys enjoy it, and hopefully we'll be able to do another one of these. If this goes well and you guys want a part two to this, I'm going to put my Instagram down below. Go ahead and DM me a picture of your sled, and if we can get enough submissions, we're going to go ahead and do a part two. All right, now into the first one. So we got Luke here. So, hey, Zach, can you rate my sled for your video? 2020 Arctic at ZR800 Limited 137 with an Arctic FX wrap. Let's see here. Okay, that's a pretty sweet sled. It's got a wrap. It looks like it's got handguards too, an orange windshield. It's, it's definitely not stock, but it's definitely not fully built. I'm going to go ahead and give this sled a 6. All right, Caleb here. What's Caleb got? He has a... He's got a 2008 Skidoo 500 SS. He's got Power Mad Risers, Dino Port Trail Can, and Geared Down One Tooth. All right, now the sled looks awesome in this picture. I can see I do actually like the stickers. I'm not a huge fan of just like sticker slapping sleds, but I do like the stickers in this sled. Other than that, besides the stickers and the handguards, sled looks relatively stock. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 6. Brady here with a 2021 Yamaha Sidewinder SRX. All right, guys, this sled is gorgeous. I've always liked the way the Sidewinders looked. And, yeah, dude, you got a beautiful sled here. Um, Looks stock as could be, but I really like it. I'm going to have to go ahead and give this a 5. All right, we got Lance here. Looks like he has some sort of Pro RMK. Uh, I think a 155 Pro RMK. He didn't tell me, so it's kind of hard to tell. But he's got an aftermarket bumper, aftermarket ski loops, aftermarket rear bumper, seat stays. Really like the wrap. I'm going to give you a 7. We have anonymous submission here. A 2002 Players Edge XCSP M10 with Fox shocks. GGB Mountain Can. And only 2,150 miles. Seeing a sled from O2 in this greatest shape is honestly really rare these days. And yeah, your sled is beautiful, man. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6. All right, Mr. Bailey here. This is what we got. A looks like a 800 Switchback Assault 144 in the lime squeeze color. This is a 2019 I know because I had this exact color before I put the wrap on. Bailey, good man, great color choice on the sled. This looks exactly how my sled looked when I bought it. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven just because obviously like we had the same sled. Next up, we got Andrew. Andrew has a 2019 800 in EXC 129. Murdered out, sweet looking sled. I do like the blacked out look. I would say though, Maybe ditch the tall windshield and go with like a mid-height. I'm not ripping on it. I'm just saying my taste would be a low windshield and also ditch the mirrors. Other than that, beautiful sled. I'm going to give you a 7. Jimmy here has got a 2007 Player 600 IQ with red underglow and MBRP trail can. So here's a pick of it at night. And I got to say, I'm not a big fan of the underglow. I think it's a little bit rice. But on this sled, for some reason, I like it. And it looks really good. And it looks like he also has aftermarket red skis. Got some handguards. And those are power mat handguards. And a little windshield action going on. Nice sled. I mess with the underglow. I'm going to give you a six. Scott here. Holy cow, Scott. What is going on here, man? Oh, my gosh. Check this out. First of all, beautiful house, beautiful driveway. And it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five. We have five axis chassis sleds in one picture. And it's kind of hard to, like, see what all these are. But, man, I'm going to go ahead and give you a 10 right off the jump. Because that's impressive to have that many axis sleds. And they're all beautiful. So, Good job on securing the first 10. All right, this is Riley. He has a 2007 Articat M6. Looking at the picture, it looks fairly stock, but I do like the orange. I'm a big fan of orange sleds. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a 6. Cole here, another guy with great taste. 2019 Switchback Assault 850, all stock besides GGB Mountain Can, also good taste. And, yep, look at the color scheme. Lime Squeeze, baby. Oh. Uh, just because you got Lime Squeeze and the GGB, I'm going to go ahead and give you a 7. All right, we got Mr. Tennessee here. Has a, looks like a 2020 Pro RMK 850, 155. Love the color scheme. It's the lime squeeze, like the kind of the primer gray. Beautiful sled, but it is pretty stock, so I'm going to have to go ahead and give you a 7. Right, we got Mr. Joe here with some sort of Articat. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with Articats, but he says it has a Jaws Rowdy Can, ECD Wrap, and Rocks Handguards, Full Cobra Pull Cord, 
and a bunch of other stuff done to it. So it looks like he's got some money and time into this sled. It's a good looking sled. Like again, I'm sorry I'm not familiar with the Articat lineup, but it's a good looking sled. Seems like you've done a little bit to it. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a seven. Mitchell here, he has another Articat. Looks like a Crossfire if I'm not mistaken. Again, guys, not familiar with the cats, but it looks like he might have an aftermarket seat. I'm not too sure, but other than that, it looks pretty stock, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a five. All right, we got Royce here. Royce has a, looks like a Skidoo, looks like some sort of MXZ, if I'm not mistaken. Again, not too familiar with the Skidoos either, but it has a pretty sweet looking wrap on it. I've never seen that color scheme done. It almost looks like a mustard color. Um, I actually really like that. If you went ahead and maybe put some hand guards on it, different windshield, and change the skis out, you'd be looking at like a 7 or an 8, but I'm going to have to give you a 6. Connor here, holy cow, man, coming in strong. We got a trailer with the player sticker. That trailer looks absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had one like that. And we got three Axis chassis sleds. Looks like a Switchback Assault, Indy XC, and then maybe a Pro S in the background. Beautiful trailer, three gorgeous sleds. You got a 10 all day long. This is Mr. Eddie. What does Eddie got? We got a, looks like a 2013 or a 2014. That's not a 13. That's a 2014 Pro RMK. Looks like an 800, 155. Doing a nice little tail stander for the boys. Um... As far as it looks with this picture, it looks stock. Um, I did actually own that color scheme at one point, so you got bonus points for that. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a five. So that's gonna be it for part one of rating my subscriber snowmobiles. I had so much fun doing this, and it was so fun to see what you guys are riding, because you guys have some awesome sleds, and it was so cool for me to be able to like, bring it to the channel and kind of like make you guys a part of the channel too. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see a part two of rating my subscriber snowmobiles, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is going to be right here. Just send me a picture of your sled, what your sled is, and what you have done to it. And if we get enough submissions, we will be doing a part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash a huge thumbs up on the video. Let me know down in the comments who your favorite sled was of the video. I know we went through about 15 to 20 submissions, so comment down below who your favorite sled was. Like I always say, if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hey, I foot on the gas, foot on the gas, living too fast, living too woke. It's not where you been, nah, nah. Where you at? Hey. Don't tell me relax. Nah.